All right, today we're gonna remove the lewd stickers and the drift stickers over here. I'm just gonna kind of clean them up. I really like this one. I'd like to keep that one. But we're gonna get rid of them and just kind of go for a, a clean look. I'm gonna keep these two peekers because uh, they're pretty subtle and uh, I'm actually going to be putting something else up here uh, at a later date so you guys will see. But I will show you guys how to remove some stickers today. If you don't know how to do them, it's pretty easy. Uh, hopefully I won't need Goo Gone, <clears throat> but they do make Goo Gone that comes in a spray container. Uh, these are the easier tools to use uh, when removing stickers. Ooh, look how rusty that is. I have another rubber handle one, but I don't know where it's at. I like this one better because uh, you can buy a pack of like a hundred of these for uh, who knows how much. You know, there's so many you forget how much they are. These are really good for, uh, you know, with and then it can apply, apply the same pressure when you're doing a big sticker. Uh, where this one you might cut half the sticker and start peeling. Uh, and then I'm just going to clean off the leftover glue with this, uh, which should be okay. Uh, there's not too much heat here where it can damage them and cause that issue. So I'm going to wear head camera and hopefully get some better footage. So let's go. Alright. Well, this one hurts. So you see, you just want to slide it. Uh, almost parallel with the glass or hor horizontal yeah parallel sorry with the glass and that helps you get under it and not scratch the glass you, if you hold it like this you could scratch the glass um, very small scratches but yeah you can see just pull it off um, right here you can see some glue residue and uh, that's probably just from me cutting because the rest looks good. I hope you guys can see very well. I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah. There's one. Uh, my favorite one is probably this one. Uh, Influence Cult. You guys could probably uh, find that online. But that's a pretty good one. And then Senpai Squad. That's pretty subtle. That's kind of what it started with. Senpai Squad. And then I got these two. I Love Sluts was a great one. Uh, but my kids, the reason I'm uh, taking these off is because my kids are getting older and I just kind of want to take them off. I don't, uh, I just don't really know what to say when they're like, oh, what's this? And then just tell them their dad's a pervert. So <laughs> I'm just going to take them off. You know, I cruise around with them often and cruise around with my fiance so out of respect I'm gonna take them off no biggie I kind of want the clean look anyways I'm getting older and stickers aren't really so appealing to me anymore so yeah you can see uh, how easy this is Oop, I'll probably time-lapse the rest but look at that I'm pulling way too fast too Older stickers, you don't want to pull that fast because they'll just come undone. Um, but those are those are very easy stickers to take off. Uh, stuff like the Senpai Squad would be a little harder um, because it's a bunch of different lettering. But you can see it's coming off pretty easy. Uh, also, my s car doesn't sit out in the sun very often at all. Um, usually never. But since I have the S10 over there, I have this covered, but it's still sitting outside, so hopefully, you know, the cover protects a little bit. Pakun! Ah ah! Come on! He likes to wonder when I'm not paying attention. But yeah, I will speed this up so you guys can see. Uh, I also like this sticker. If you know, you know. These are the older ones. The Senpai and these two. Ooh. 
Yeah, I figured. I don't know what the oldest sticker is on this. to take them out. Look at him. Getting all excited. So even the razor here, he can come back and kind of get this glue up. Let make it less thick for the uh, Windex. So, here you can see the aftermath, all the glue on it. I can get most of it with the razor, I'll come back. This is another one of my favorite ones. We were Man Crush Mondays, car runs on 87. I just enjoy talking <laughs> Kinda comes from my military background, all we did was talk every day but you can see very easy to take off I mean I don't want to keep saying how easy it is because I might run across one that's pretty difficult uh, but if you get good quality ones they they stick pretty good and they're thick so they'll come off pretty easy too and you could reuse these I know some people they like to keep their stickers so you take it off you know, if you're easy, careful when you take it off, you can put it on a sheet of paper, keep them. They mean a lot to you. Oh, look at that. Guess I never took off that. That's funny. That means this sticker is probably pretty good condition. Oh. Hope you guys get a good. Uh, I finished. Uh, it took about 30 minutes, maybe. Probably less. Look at it. Looks pretty good. Definitely looks different from back here. They've been on for a while. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, it kind of looks empty with the stickers over there. But I really like those stickers, and so do the kids. But yeah, all done. What do you guys think? Should I have left them? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, now, I have to change the oil on my daily. Uh, if you guys are interested, keep watching. It's a 2019 Hyundai. Uh, it's actually quite convenient to do the oil change on. All right. 2019 Hyundai Ionic. Uh, Coon, you gonna help me? I'm just gonna find a good jack spot. I don't remember where I jacked it last time, so I'm gonna do that, jack it up. All right, so my favorite thing about this car, uh, it's got this tray. Everyone hates these trays who changes their own oil, uh, but it actually even labels it oil filter cap. Just three 10 millimeter bolts and then engine oil just two 10 millimeter bolts very easy to take off and uh, I'll take them off so you guys can see how much room you have to reach your hand up in there I use the light off my drill but you can see this is the hole for the filter very much room and then here's the hole for the drain plug and it works pretty well you would think the drain might tap on this or the the oil but it doesn't hit this, it comes pretty straight down, which is nice. So I'm gonna take that off real quick. Hopefully I have the 
spray bullet. Is it a 14 or a 15? Oh, it's a 15. Okay. I'll be back. Oh, shit. Well, put it on way too tight. Good thing I got the Ugga Dugga. I just want to keep it from getting dirty though. Alright. Let's get that out of the way. Pretty tight. I'm going to show you a little trick. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Right here though. So we got it draining. Basically, the trick. it's coming out pretty fast, but if you take the oil filler cap off, it'll come out faster. Oh yeah, you can't really tell, but it drains pretty quick when you take that off because it's like a vacuum seal. It allows air to come in. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to take off the oil filter. buying these. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> is he okay with dogs? Yeah, he's really good okay. with dogs. How old is yours? Uh, about a year and three, and year and four months. He looks like a puppy. How puppy. What's his name? Pacoon. 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 This is Patrick. <laughs> he's old. He's 11. <laughs> yeah. He's adorable. He's across the street. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. So I was saying is I keep buying these. These go on the oil filter to take them off, but I've been using different filters. I got the OE one now. Um, I don't know which one's installed, so hopefully it fits one of these. If not, these rubber ones make it real easy. Usually the, the filters are supposed to be put on hand tight and come off hand tight. I put them on hand tight and still, when it comes time to change it, just from heat cycles, I guess, it gets pretty snug on there. So I'm gonna try that. It fit, so you just use a three inch extension and a ratchet. You see I have it put on the filter there. You just plug this guy in, and then you twist it loose. Uh, I'm not gonna do it all the way, because I need to put the drain plug in right there. If you don't put the drain plug in, uh, then I won't be able to move the oil pan, and it'll cause a huge mess. So I'm gonna take that out real quick. No. Hey, no. He wants to go get the kid. I'm gonna put this on here. Stick it in reverse skirt skirt. And see that? Spins easy. Got it pretty good. Oh, here comes the fluid. And now I'm gonna take it off. If you ever change, you know, uh, your own oil or not, you wanna wear gloves because this part is straight up and down. And it's just gonna leak on you. If you don't wear gloves, you wipe it off with a towel, but the rest of your day is ruined. And this thing has a crap ton of oil in it. Oh yeah. Oh, this is an OEM one too, I believe. I got some oil on the uh, oil pan. It'll be all right. I'm gonna finish this. Everyone on my channel knows how to do an oil change. Probably, if not, I'm not trying to insult anybody. If you do know how. But this is what the inside of your oil filter looks like. Well, the top side. And you just want to take some oil. Just reach some in there. Some oil. I cleaned off my glove before I did it. Well, at least the pointer finger. You want to rub it there. Maybe get some on the threads. But this helps it get a good seal. At least that's what I was told. And that's what I always do. I got oil on the screen. But yeah, I'm going to install that. Oil change done. Uh, car's up back on the ground. I'm gonna start her up. Uh, the oil level's good. But, uh, yep, that's it for today. Uh, sorry is, you know, small stuff, boring stuff. It's kind of last minute. Um, and then I had to change the oil on this thing and trying to get those stickers off for a while. But uh, next Tuesday, 
I'm going to have quite a bit of uh, footage because this week I'm going to try and knock a lot of stuff out on the S10 and uh, some other stuff, I think. But, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, as always, see you next Tuesday.